In Fusion 360, designing a mountain bike tire and a wheel, there's a lot you can learn from dealing with components, sketches, using, using images and canvases to build, and patterns. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today I want to build a multi-component wheel and tire in Fusion 360. We'll begin with a new design. I'm going to start a brand new component and this new component will start with uh, the rim. Okay, so in the rim, what I'd like to do is bring in <clears throat> a reference image. You don't have to do this, but if you want to, uh, this can be useful. Front plane, start the sketch and I'm going to do what's called a canvas. Do the S key for search and we'll wake up the canvas tool. And this is great for bringing in images. I'm gonna bring it in from my computer and it comes in onto this face. I'll drag it up a little bit. It's not really scaled yet and it's not in the right location. So let's get those things figured out. I'm gonna drag up the opacity so I can see it a little better. You'll notice when we get up close to this thing that it looks like it's backwards and it's got a few different ones. So you might just trim your image to get the profile you care about, but it's not gonna hurt me to have these other ones on there. It's not gonna bug me too much, so I'll leave it as is. But how to first, how do I fix that canvas? It came in kind of backwards. Right click in the history or in the timeline, go over to the edit canvas and select the flip. Much better. Next thing, let's get this calibrated. Right click on the canvas, choose not there, <laughs> try again. Go over to canvases, right click on it in the browser and find calibrate. All right, so fortunately from here to here, we know is 58 millimeters, that's pretty helpful. So find a reference you understand, maybe you know the measurement from here to here, maybe you know the top to bottom, whatever you know, click a point to a point and type in that value. Make sure you're in the right units as well. Next, let's get the sizing, uh, of, or at least the location of the canvas sketch in the right spot. So if I start um, a construction line from the origin going up, make it construction by selecting the line, hitting X, then I'll drag a dimension on it and I can type in 27.5 inch. Looks good and then we'll uh, right click on the canvas, edit it, drag it up and get this aligned. Now, um, let's just assume that this value to here is 27 and a half. It might actually be closer in here, but we'll just assume that for now. So make sure you've got you know roughly the right location. Of course, can edit that later. That's one of the cool things about working in a parametric modeler like Fusion. All right, so the thing I have in mind is because I'm using this canvas and I want to reuse it in the other one and it's all set up nicely, um, I'm going to go ahead and actually create another component. I'm going to right click and hit copy. And I'm going to do a right click and paste. So I go up to the assembly level, I'm going to right click on that component, hit copy, right click and choose paste a new component because I want this to be um, not a copy of the rim, but rather um, a new component that's its own thing. And so now we have a copy, um, but it's its own component. It's not linked to the other one. This is going to be the tire. And so now I have two separate components, but they both have their own canvases that I can work with. And so it'll be easier to see the canvas in both. So which one first? We'll go to the rim, activate it, and start designing the rim. Now, this is a round part that follows 360 degrees that I'm gonna trace that rim design. So it's gonna be a revolve, I know that. And I'm gonna come in and do just a quick job of tracing that rim. Line to arc, and you can see the image quality is not very good. Had I found a better image or taken a good image with my phone or a camera, um, it'd be easier to align with that um, with these pixels and then I could get a much better tracing of this design. But for our example purposes, I think it's going to be just fine. 
Sometimes the tangent arc isn't what I want, so I go up and find the three-point arc. Select end to end, and then try to align that sketch point, sketch arc. I don't like that one, so I'm gonna break it up into a couple steps, maybe to the middle here, and then to there. Remember, you can hold control if it's snapping and you don't want it to. And you'll notice I'm just trying to sketch half of this. If for any reason your canvas starts to give you trouble, you can uh, adjust that resolution um, as far as you know, being able to kind of see through it. That can be really important depending on your image. We keep tracing and sketching, and I'm not worried about making this perfect, just getting it uh, close enough for the first part of the design for the first draft. And I'm going to mirror in the sketch. We could mirror the body, but I want to make sure that I get a nice, smooth connection between all the entities and that it lines up. It looks like I didn't quite fully connect there, and I don't like how much this is off. So I'm gonna drag this over a little bit. I'll select the two, these two lines and make sure they line up using a relationship called collinear, meaning they're of the same line. And now that looks a little better. So if I do a mirror sketch, box select all the entities that I wanna do right here. I'm gonna box select all the entities except for that middle line and bring that over. That looks a little bit better. We'll hit OK. And now we can revolve this object. OK, so if I do the S key and do revolve, let's do both sides and around what axis. If I zoom out, I want to use the origin down here. I'm going to spin around this axis. There's the preview of the rim. Looks OK good enough for now and so there's our first component very cool so I'm gonna hide that for a minute and come down to the tire activate that one make sure it's visible you can see it has its canvas and now we're doing the tire so I want to start a sketch and start working on it I'm gonna leave out the lugs for now maybe just do this um, in pieces front plane start the sketch and this time I'm kind of just, you know, tracing this tire. And I just want to be sure to get close enough, do an arc. And because the tire does have that cutaway uh, to the lug, it's a little bit different, I think, than if the lugs are, you know, kind of formed just separate of. Again, going just for close enough. Art command, snap on right here. Don't like that. Try again. Much better. Probably more to do with the way this cross section is drawn that you got all these varying radii there. Or maybe that's how they're designed. I actually am not sure. The point is we've got our profile sketched up. Again, we've sketched half of it and we'll use the mirror sketch to uh, sketch everything over to the other side. How's that look? It looks okay, it's a little off, you can see, so maybe we should um, try bringing this over just a little bit. How 
How's that? We'll try that one. Mirror command, sketch mirror to be specific. Cross here, does it look better? Looks a little better, looking pretty good. Okay, good enough. Um, it does this kind of indent, which I don't like. So sometimes you can do it with um, constraints. You can come back in and add tangency, but you can also come in and sketch this arc and this arc and kind of create a better transition. And we can make, you know, we can trim these. Do a search with S key, trim. That looks better. I like that a little better. Okay, so probably good enough. Again, we'll try the revolve. And we're doing um, this profile around this axis down here. Be sure to select it hit the axis and we've got our tire. It's a new body. I'm gonna go over to, I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard and bring up my appearances and I'll search for rubber. There's rubber. I'll drag that right on. So now we have that material applied. That's cool. Bring the rim up, we'll look back at the assembly. I probably should have saved a while ago. Definitely should have. So what about the lugs? Maybe we should build those real quick and pattern them around. We'll activate the tire again, make sure the canvas is ready, start the sketch. Same program pretty much. I'm gonna come in and use these as my lug. Now I kinda of wanna, you know, offset some of these. If I wanted to do that, I'd probably wanna do them as separate extrudes. That'd be smart. Um, we can skip some instances uh, with the pattern. So we could probably do something like that. And I'm gonna mirror this in the sketch as well. So yeah, kind of crude. You can see I could do a much better job of tracing. Make sure that's vertical. We're gonna mirror all of this around that line. Good enough? Yeah, for the example, good enough. Okay, so now what I wanna do is extrude these shapes onto the tire. I'm gonna join it right onto the tire. They're not separate bodies or anything, I don't think. Now that we're trying to do a little bit better job, I removed the appearances to make it easier to see in the tutorial. I'm gonna first do the midsection by itself, making sure to join it and then we'll pattern that. But let's now do um, these uh, next, um, let's now do these other sets for the tread. And this time, instead of extruding right from where we start, I'm gonna do an offset. And we could do like maybe a five millimeter, something small for the starting offset. And it's five thick and it's joined on so you can see it starts a little bit later pretty cool you can do that and then how about the final for um the outer treads these little nubs and we'll say they start right at the beginning as well i think that should work okay Look good okay good it's all joined up and I'm gonna shorten this middle one. So if you double click on it, it wakes it up and you can adjust the number or we can drag it a little bit shorter. Looks good. So now let's try the pattern again. So do a search for pattern. Do a search for pattern, circular pattern. And the features we're patterning, all of these three features that we just did and we're doing them around the axis, the full axis, right here, this axis, roughly 120. Gotta wait for it to compute. Okay, zooming in on the pattern, it looks like I should probably do a different pattern for these treads and make them a little tighter and more of them and then even the outers, more of them. I'm happy with the spacing of that center tread or lug, whatever it's called. Um, so maybe do separate patterns for those. 
So a couple things we learned today, just using canvases for bringing up a photo to reference, doing multiple components, sketching lines and arcs, doing patterns, using revolves for our rounded objects. I hope this is helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Hit that like button for me. Hit that subscribe button so you can get notified with each new Fusion 360 tutorial.